What's up everybody, quarantine day 11. Today we're gonna to be talking about Stephen Covey's seven habits of highly effective people. We're gonna uh, define what a habit is, how many habits are there, and we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be talking about the first one uh, today. So let's kind of get started. Habit one, or excuse me, what is a habit? Habit is an intersection of knowledge, skill, and desire. Now, what is knowledge? Knowledge is the what to do and the why, like you know what you have to do, okay? And you come up with why you actually wanna do it. Um, the skill is, you know, how to do it, okay? And desire, that is the motivation you actually want to be doing whatever it is that you wanna do. Um, and you need all three in order to develop a habit moving forward, okay? Um, now, out of these seven habits that Stephen Covey describes, the first three have to do with uh, self-mastery or basically the private victories before you can worry about anyone else and worrying about you know improving or you know public victories okay so habit one is being proactive now uh, throughout every one of these habits he goes into multiple examples through when he was talking to whether it's business groups or you know colleges universities guest speaking things like that and one of these, he talked about a stimulus and response um, kind of narrative where he talked about a Nazi camp survivor who basically had the stimulus of, hey, I'm in a, I'm in a Nazi camp. And he decided how uh, he was going to respond to the situation. And how he responded was, you know, through his attitude, he um, inspired the remainder of the prisoners that were in his cell and uh, even some of the guards that were in, you know, pretty much overseeing his cell. Um, and he eventually did survive, which ended up being a, uh, a good story. Uh, but kind of, you know, comes back to, we have the freedom to choose our response. You know, in another example, they said, typically when it's a nice weather out, people feel pretty good. And when it's bad weather out, whether it's bad weather, um, you know, maybe a snowstorm, hailstorm, it's, you know, up in the Northeast, really cold. Um, it kind of puts people in a bad attitude, but we pretty much choose what kind of weather we carry around with us every day um, with the type of attitude that we have. Um, he also goes to talk about resourcefulness and initiative, kind of goes hand in hand with the stimulus and response. How do we respond to certain situations? Um, he talks about two other things called uh, the circle, circles of concern and circle of um, influence. Circles of concern is being concerned with things that we really can't control, i.e. natural events, potentially nuclear war, you know, um, perceptions from others, things like that. Okay, we can't control some of those things. And once we do, okay, we can't focus on ourselves. We can't, you know, master our own um, habits towards success. Okay. Now the circle of influence, these are, uh, focusing on things that we can actually control how we respond. Right. Um, it's predominantly through positive energy and it, as you get better at it, it increases your circle of influence. People, you know, around you, around your inner circle, who you're influencing. Um, and the bigger you impact you have on, you know, the people around you. Um, he also talks about the haves and the bees, differentiating between, um, I'll give you an example to kind of better explain it. Some, someone might say, um, uh, if only I had a college degree, I would be successful. Or if only my boss had given me this position. Or if only I had, you know, fill in the blank, right? Instead of, I can be more resourceful. I can be better at this. I could do more here. Um, we're pretty much taking ownership of your actions and, and what you're doing. So that's the kind of the haves and the bees. Changing from the haves to the bees. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Um, making and keeping commitments. Okay, so this is like a huge part of this first habit of being proactive if we can't make these um these 
commitments and actually keeping them on a smaller scale. For example, if I told myself, hey, I want to go to the gym every every day for this week from zero five, and because I want to get in shape, I want to, you know, um, lose the 15 pounds, okay, I want to um, make the, you know, positive steps towards, you know, a healthier lifestyle, and if I can't do those smaller things, I can't make that big of an impact down the road and master, um, you know, habits two through seven, okay, so these making and keeping commitments and making little victories every single day um, kind of build that confidence one in yourself but it also um, it's the foundation of of character growth um, within highly effective people he talks about direct indirect and no control behavior so direct would be our own behavior how we control it indirect is other people's behavior and no control can't do anything about um, and for you guys kind of moving forward we'll kind of wrap this up a little bit um, an exercise I want you to pick a problem at your work or in your personal life and determine if it's a direct problem an indirect problem or no control okay so again you are finding whether um, a problem whether it's in your personal life whether it be marriage or your healthy lifestyle or um, or at work, whether it's a gossip or confrontation with any bosses or um, any issues going on at work, and decide one whether it's a direct um, issue, an indirect issue, or a no control issue. Okay, um, and identify the first step you can do to uh, in your circle of influence. Okay, and again, that circle of influence is stuff that you can control. Okay, and, and all your energy is focused on that stuff that you can control. And so take that first step to figure out what that um, step is going to be to solve that issue and take that step. Okay, so give me a comment. Let me know what, um, in a brief, you don't need to be dropping names, <laughs> what that issue was, how, how you went about uh, fixing that issue. And stay tuned for the following week. We'll, we'll try to do um, a habit you know, you know, seven days straight, well, not seven days straight, but seven successful, uh, successive Sundays where we talk about each habit and uh, detail it, go into summary a little bit more. And if you guys want to read along or, or whatever, uh, download the book on Kindle. I think it was like five to 10 bucks and it's very good. It kind of humbles you. It brings you back to square one, you know, makes you really think what you're actually, uh, uh, focused on in your life, whether it's career goals, you know, um, even from, you know, job all the way down to the smallest, smallest things in life. Um, and it, you know, makes you think and it makes you want to change and, you know, get better every day. So I challenge you to do that. Give me a shout if you got any questions and hopefully you guys have a good night.